Oh, what's up, boys? I got the new setup. I got the new setup with the TV and everything. Playing a bit of PS4. And I've got a little thing on my hand, but I was. I'm thinking I'm the shit, obviously, because I got the little thing. And then I'm just looking at the video. Aiden Ross like, meets Donald Trump here from Fuck News. I was just thinking to myself, like, while well, seeing Hunter and seeing all these affluent people just congregate together, you know, rich people never, never, like, you know, not get along. All rich people always get along. It's poor people that never get along. And I was thinking to myself, I was like, bro, honestly, what the fuck am I doing in my life again? And have my choices so far been congruent to what I really want in life? You know, I was <laughs> very, very powerful this. Like, because I understand the consequences of my choices. Because I spent, like, around two, three hours today playing games. Tomorrow I'm not going to play any games. I played a lot of Apex, both my friends especially. And I thought to myself, this is not going to run. I'm not going again. There has to be a limit to my instant gratification bullshit activity. I am completely and utterly finished with this type of thing. And, you know, it's weird. I'm, I'm, I haven't been playing, I haven't been in a year and a half, probably around two years. But I'm already going back to just not wanting to play again. Because I'm seeing this affluent lifestyle ahead of me. And I'm not like playing. I, I, I kept the bunch of course. But I'm not playing for like. I want to be an uh, Apex Legends content creator. Because one, that's difficult to become. It is difficult to become. I'd rather much rather become a self improvement type of individual. Second of all. Like there's such a, there's such a ceiling on that. Like, from what I've seen. If you're, if you're in a tech company. Of the 20 years. You might be. For like a billionaire, you own multiple companies on the on your tech company, and you know you're the next Elon Musk motherfucker, right? But if you're spending twenty years in video games, you're just gonna be a geek at the end of it all, and you might be rich as fuck. You get probably getting a mediocre girlfriend like how, which is like one of the top Apex streamers, one of the top Apex players. You get a mediocre girlfriend, you look like a geek, you get roasted in your own streams, that type of shit, man. I feel there's a limit. There's a limit to these industries, and I think that you need to find an industry that would ideally let you push beyond. And that's why I like really like YouTube videos. Because YouTube videos let you push, lets people push beyond. But even then, it is still immensely difficult to push beyond and going through those areas where you can, you know, be at UFC 287 at literally ringside. Those seats are probably like 50k. <laughs> those seats are like 50 grand minimum. I'm not going to touch it up, bro. Can you get, feel free to crack your life. Yeah, I'm switching up. UFC 287 ring. What the fuck? FC. UFC 27 ring side tickets. Lower is $400, but the most expensive uh, ones going up to 15k. No, $11,000. Casual, bit of a yearly wage. So let's buy tickets for Holloway versus Allen. Uh, we want to get. Let's get tickets on premium tickets. We want to get premium tickets ringside. Come on, let's see ringside. Might be inviting exclusive as well. It just said, I don't know, some bullshit, fake, I don't know. It was like $11,000. 15000 maybe 50000 because of resale, right? Let's just go with 50 Gs. You will spend more than a yearly, year, yearly wage, maybe like two years of, of a yearly wage, on a fucking ticket to watch a thing. You might make phenomenal connections that surpass that, but then again, come on, bro. I saw Hunter and he's very young. 
I think he's a bit older than me actually. I name Hunter. Might miss the wrong place. Hunter Biden. Was it Hunter Biden? Um, Trump. Youngest son. Baron Trump. He's 17 years old, 20th of March 2006. Who's my age? Full name Baron William Trump. But he's living an incredibly different life comparatively to me. And of course, it's stupid to compare. Especially because he was born with a platinum spoon. He was born with a uh, Amex black spoon. But. Even then, I still like, I can't help but compare myself to this individual because it puts in perspective how unfair life is. Because his, his, his dad, not his granddad, his dad, Donald Trump, put in the work like crazy. He gets to have this wonderful life out of him, which I don't get to experience, obviously, because my parents are multi, 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 multi billionaires. And I think to myself, well, throughout my life, I'm going to have to work to get it. And of course, it will have more value to me because of it, because I have to work to get it. And I will probably, you know, appreciate the money more and earn that money more because of it. But then again, all those years, like, I can still like, develop myself even as I'm rich. With popularity of self improvement, I doubt I would not, wouldn't get on self improvement, considering the fact that it seems so attractive to, to young men, especially, especially myself. So I, I, I'm confident. Like, if I was born rich, I would still get into sound from fitness, with that type of stuff, core approach, on a riz, that type of, that type of shit, talking to girls, getting into shape, getting money, I would still do all of those things, and getting better mental health, but I would just have a hundred million dollars backing me. <laughs> and I just think about that, bro. That type of money, like, all changing power, and I don't have it. And I'm thinking back of my choices. I decided to, instead of, you know, video edit, do the work, especially if I don't feel like it, you know, I, I play three hours of video games. Three hours, I could have spent the reading. Three hours, I could have done this, three hours, I could have done that. But no, I spent it playing video games. And it obviously was fun and nostalgic. I was with the boys, blah, 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 blah. But then again, I, I look at this choice and I think to myself, I, could I have made a better choice? Yes. What is that better choice? Anything else. Because everything else in my room is like, always productive. Whether it's organizing clothes, See a huge part of my bed. Whether it's uploading videos, editing videos, uploading stuff on Facebook Marketplace and other uh, what do you call it in e-commerce websites, e-com websites. I could do so many more things that are productive. But instead I chose to do this. And suck on the resort. Then we get it. It's been in my habit tracker now. I'm gonna call it a day, boys. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna hit the hay, I'm gonna go sleep. Which is interesting. Like, if I was a YouTuber, for example, could I reach that level? Could I reach a level where I'm. Like, you know, like Aiden Ross, I'm meeting Andrew Tate, I'm meeting Donald Trump, I'm meeting this guy, I'm meeting that guy. You know, I have so much money to the point where money doesn't really mean anything. I live in a nice house in an upstate area where there's, like, no robberies or nothing. I can do whatever I want in my life. And I can, like, you know, create content for fun. That type of thing. Like, would I get to do that if I do YouTube? I'm not sure. Catch us in this video.